Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. I turned off all my mods um, for the time being um, because I wanted to do like a in-depth like by myself like overview of create a sim and stuff like that before I started playing with my custom content in my game. So I wanted to introduce you guys to the sims I made for growing together um, with the stuff in the create a sim that are new. I enjoyed going through create a sim. Um, I actually like a lot of the stuff that's in create a sim. Some of the clothing swatches are incredible. I do like the matching colors of the stuff. I'm pretty sure by now you guys have seen all of the people who had early access do cast overview. So I'm not going to do like a full in-depth. I thought I was and I was recording one but then I was like you know what other people have already did this. You guys probably don't want to see that. This is Tierra. Um, I want to introduce you to this family because I am, I'm going to save them to my library, but I'm not going to place them in a lot because I have no mods. So everything in my game right now that has like custom content and stuff, um, that's gone. And I don't want to save it like that just in case when I put my mod folder back in to my game, that stuff is not there. And I spent way too much time in the Leary household doing their entire house. So I don't want to mess that up and I am going to go in and fix the Leary household. Um, that video will be up soon as well. But anyways, back to what I was saying. This is Tierra. I want to introduce you guys to this little family because they're so cute. Um, she wants to be a super parent. Um, she's cheerful. She is from Sulani, Child of the Islands, and she is a party animal. Now, the more um, interesting thing that I found in here is that you guys know that with the get together pack, these unlock. So like the way like they can be compatible and these conversation topics are also new. So Tierra's favorite colors are pink and purple. And her favorite music is focus, hip hop, retro, and singer songwriter. She really likes to hear that. And I did not realize that soul music was done here. So I'm going to go ahead and like that one as well. Um, and I'm also going to give her island music. I was like trying to like when I was making her, I was trying to rush because I thought I was going to do like a whole different video. So if I change some stuff here, you guys can see it with me. Um, for converse, oh wait, okay, so for sim characteristics, I did not want her to be ambitionless. I feel like she is like on her grind at all times. She doesn't like to argue either. So if these two have like a disagreement, um, she will most likely either keep it to herself or she will try to tiptoe around the situation or kind of like hint that something is bothering her. Um, she was, she's not egotistical. She you know, it's not all about her. She has a kid. It's all about him, mainly. Um, she is a de an emotional decision maker. She tends to, you know, if her baby wants something and she doesn't want him to have it, and he starts crying, she's going to give in. And, you know, that's just how she is. Or, you know, like if there's something at the store and they're low on funds and her baby, it like seems like her, it would make her baby happy and she would love to see her baby happy. She's going to go ahead and get it and they will find a way to get that money back. Because she wants to be a super parent, I gave her the family motivated sim. I feel like anything she does in her life, you know, it's all driven by her family and it's all about getting her family back to the island because that is where she's from and that is also where her husband is from. Like, why would they not want to head back, you know, to the island where they're both from and raise their baby there in Sulani? I, she's a very hardworking sim. I'm not sure where I would have her work yet. So, you know, I, I feel like if I play as her, she'd be very hardworking. She has very high energy because she's a party animal. She's from the island. She likes to attend the island party. She's very high energy. She's very happy most of the time. This tree right here is so cool. I love that homebody is now like an option with the pack. Most of my Sims have the indoorsy trait, so this is perfect. I did want her to be a nature enthusiast just because she, you know, she's from the islands. Why would she not want to be outside? Why be inside when the outside is full of you know, life. Optimistic, I feel like she has a pretty positive outlook on life. I mean, she has a husband, she has a baby, and she has a home to look forward to going to. And then I also gave her spirited, you know, she likes to party, she likes to be the energy of the party, the life of the party, so yeah, that's what her characteristics are. Conversation topics, I think she loves affection from her husband. 
Um, but I, she, like I said, she is not with the argumentative stuff. She's just not that. I think she likes to get and give compliments. She works very hard on being a good person and she loves seeing other people who do the exact same. I think she likes discussing her interests, which is, you know, her kid, her family, her home. Flirtation, she likes to be flirty with her husband and her husband only, of course. Um, physical intimacy, her love language, you know, I feel is touch, silly behavior. I feel like that went hand in hand with the party animal. Like, you know, people like to, you know, what? they like to let loose at parties. So I figured, you know, that's what she would like to be. Like she would like to like, I guess, our conversation. She'd like to be silly at parties. Um, small talk, what do you do at parties? You talk small. So most of the time when you're at a party, you're like busy conversating with everybody that, you know, it has to be small here and there interactions. Um, I never touch fashion or decor. So if I'm ever doing, unless like they're like a fashion person or a design, like an interior designer, I would never touch these two because I feel like they really don't play into anything in my gameplays. I mean, if you download the sim and you want her to be something completely different, that's fine, but because I will add her to my library. This family will be added to my library and I will upload them to the gallery. I need to start putting my gallery like in the um, description. So if you're watching this and she's not on the gallery, like let me know in the comments if you want her, you want to see my gallery because I will most likely forget. So hobbies and skills. I think she likes to go bowling. Sometimes there's parties at bowling. Um, she just likes to bowl. She likes to, you know, be out and do things. Um, dancing went with partying. Um, she likes mixology because partying photography. She loves to take pictures of her baby and her family. I think she likes to do some singing um, because I mean, what do you do at parties? You dance and you sing. And I also think she likes wellness, even though after all the partying and stuff, I do think she likes relaxation and, you know, pampering. So that is Tierra, Tierra Harmon. Um, I do kind of want to go over some of like how she looks um, and some of the cast items and what I think. I think the hair in the game, I think that these hairs, like this hair and this hair are my absolute favorites in the game right now. Um, that's why I gave her this one. I think this braided bun is lovely. Um, another favorite of mine are these earrings. And I'm sorry, you guys, they're swaying back and forth because the standstill mod was broken <laughs> and it was making the infants like stretch. So I kind of have no choice but to have them swaying back and forth until that is fixed and I was in no rush. But these earrings, like when she turns and how it like has like depth and dimension, I put these on her because I felt like she's very colorful, high energy. I felt like these just, you know, screamed somebody who is full of life. Now, with the clothing um, for growing together, I felt like um, there's a lot of storytelling you could do with just the clothing alone. Um, all these knitted items. You can say like your grandma knitted you this. You could like literally wear this to like a family reunion and be like, oh, grandma knitted me this sweater. So like, that's why I'm wearing it. And this definitely looks handmade to me. I don't know. So, but yeah, I put her in this one because like, I feel like it like went together with like the colorful earrings. These leggings are really cool. I know that you can like see that she is wearing her underwear like through the legging swatches. And I feel like, you know, I feel like that should be more normalized in the world. I mean, we literally all wear underwear. So I don't know why it's such a surprise when you can see it through. And I actually think I'm going to change her, um, leggings to this color just for the simple fact that that goes so well together. I wish I had like a better swatch of these. Like if I put these as yellow, it's not going to look as nice. Um, but yeah, I do like that a lot of the clothing and create a sim are matching. So like matching shirt, matching pants. I think that color, like for me, I like to make my sims pretty matching. I usually don't like to clash colors. I'm not a, a fashion designer, but I mean, like if I'm going through something and I like I don't know. I feel like all my Sims have matching clothing. <laughs> um, I don't think we got any new shoes. I think, I don't know if the men got any. I don't think there was new shoes. And this was the only accessory that we got. So yeah, I think um, create a Sim items. I think the clothing and stuff is really cool. Um, I don't think they should like, I, I don't know if anybody else had like a differencing opinion where they think they should have added more, but I feel like this pack was more generated toward gameplay. So I feel like I'm pretty 
satisfied with what they did give us in create a sim so now moving on to cameron this is cameron Harmon. i did play around with the spotting on him um i feel like he has a birthmark here in these little spots um i do like the new aging spots and stuff in this game like in the birthmarks and stuff i think they're really cool to add i can't wait to see what custom content people do with them though because like i feel like I, I like that we had like different swatches of them, but I do feel like um, they might look a little weird with custom content skin, skin tones um, if we get those. Um, I feel like those might not even show up in a skin overlay, so I'm not sure if people are going to add custom content ones or not. I'm, I'm pretty sure there already is some out there, but you know, I don't know. Um, so this is Cameron. I wanted him to be like an inner peace kind of guy. He's kind of quiet. He is a bookworm. He loves to read books and then like chat about them. He's also a child of the islands. They both met in high school and they also attended the same college together. And he is also adventurous. I would say he's adventurous not only in a physical sense but mainly like a mind, like a mental, like I don't know how that even, I don't know how to explain it. I think he likes to go on adventures a lot of times in his mind because he is a bookworm, if that makes sense. He's like adventurous in that way. Does that even make sense? I don't know. It made sense in my head, but it might not make sense in other people's head. Um, his favorite colors are black and gray. He likes electronica music, uh, focus, hip hop, and soul music. I was going like a little bit more in detail on him. I don't know why. Um, usually I don't really go into detail on male sims, but again these both they both of them are not argumentative um he does everything he can to avoid arguments with her um i am very interested to see how argumentative sims and non-argumentative sims in this game are going to like clash together when it comes to being compatible and stuff he likes to use his brain for a lot because he likes books he likes to explore, you know, different parts of his mind um, in a creativity sense, even if his um, one of his traits is not, you know, like being creative. He is not an emotional decision maker, even though Tierra is. Um, he's very realistic in that sense. If they can't afford it, then, you know, he'll have to go to work a little bit more and afford it later. If his son wants something and he starts crying, um, like say he wants like a new toy or, you know, he wants to, you know, be held all the time. He's more realistic in a sense and, you know, it's more like, hey, you know, I know he's crying, but he cannot be held 24-7. He's going to have to learn that, you know, being put down is okay or, you know, stuff like that. I feel like he's just more realistic in a sense. He is family motivated, um, just like she is. They both work really hard toward making their family their own. Again, he is also very hardworking. They both went to college. They both like got their degrees. I think he's very high energy. Um, he's not really like a party goer, but I feel like, you know, at home or anywhere he is, he brings a lot of energy and a lot of positivity to where he is. He is a homebody, even though he is a child of the islands and he grew up there. That does not mean he wants to be outside all the time. He definitely would rather be inside and the air conditioning with a good book with his family being around. I think I'm going to take idealist off just because I feel like it kind of clashes with emotional decision making. Um, nature enthusiast. I'm going to also take that off because he's a homebody. I don't know why I clicked either of those. Maybe I was just like reading into him a little too much. And then I'm also going to give him, I'm, I'm going to take spirited off as well. <laughs> um, and I am going to go ahead and give him back the optimistic trait and I'm going to give him funny because I feel like, you know, He's funny. Conversation topics. He loves affection. He loves his wife. Um, deception. He does not like when people deceive him. Mm -mm. It's just not his thing. I feel like Cameron is a really good man. Um, he's a very honest man. Um, so like deception is just not for him. He is a bookworm. So deep thoughts are something that he really likes to, you know, partake in. He likes discussing his books with people that also love discussing his books and also his interests, which is mainly books. <laughs> gossip. He is not a gossiper. Um, he doesn't really deal with that. goes hand in hand, I feel, with deception. Joking. I feel like he reads so many books and he finds like so much, like he explores his mind so much that, you know, he's funny. Physical intimacy. Of course, she also likes physical intimacy. So I gave them both that. Silly behavior. He likes to be playful and childish with his son. 
small talk. He likes small talk and stories I felt like went hand in hand um, because, you know, he likes to tell stories. For the cast items for the males, I really like the hair. Um, this hair is probably my favorite, but there's also this one that you guys have probably seen when they were doing the live stream. Um, this one's also really cool. I'm not sure if I am like a huge fan of the swatches, but um, yeah, I think they're really nice. But this one right here, this one reminds me of a different one that we have gotten, but I really do like this one, especially like with the hairline and stuff. It just looks really nice. For the clothing for the males, I love all of the um, the shirts that we had gotten for the men. I feel like I feel like I like that we get more male items sometimes. The males for me are so generally overlooked. I never take my time making men. And even in custom with custom content, men typically don't have good like outfit styles. So I really like this shirt. I like this again, like I was saying. He can be the person that does all of the like, what was called knitting. So like either that, or you could say like she was the one doing it and like she made him this sweater or whatever. Um, so I think like there's a lot of storytelling just within the clothes in general. I feel like the pants and stuff for both, um, like both, like male and female pants are really, really nice. Um, we didn't get any shoes. Um, I don't even know where these shoes are even from. <laughs> what are these shoes from? I literally just got Roma Magic and the Paranormal Stuff Pack, um, because I didn't own either of those. And they're on sale at the moment, so... I figured I wanted them. I really want to make like a witch lady with a baby. Um, I think that would be so cool. But um, yeah, moving on to the babies. This is Trace. He is like the cutest baby. I didn't do anything to him. He just looks cute all on his own. I just really love the infants. The only thing I, I saw was some people were saying that they were mad that a lot of this like infant interactions were locked behind a paywall and oh my goodness guys i wish the stance i'm hoping that somebody like fixes the standstill mod asap but i did want to go through and um show you guys some of these outfits that are so cute like that is too cute this one is also really cute this one looks handmade to me um just because of how it looks i think you like unbutton and then go over the shoulders um I think that's what happens when babies have blowouts. They have like, that's usually what the buttons and stuff are for. Um, this is super cute with a little diamond design. And look how cute these are. Like, I think the infants are like way too adorable. This is one of my favorite outfits, like with the different swatches of animals because um, in the Leary household, Kian's like entire thing is like farm animals. So I think like this one, or it's not really farm, it's like forest animals. I don't know why I said farm, but I do think that they like, that like fits a lot. And this is also really cute. And of course this works perfect with Kian's as well. Look at the sharks, little baby sharks. So cute. Um, I know there is some custom content and like different swatches. I'm sure somebody, I'm pretty sure like everybody will make like 10 times, oops, the, um, like stuff for with custom content. I think the babies are super, super adorable. Trace is a wiggly baby. I haven't made a wiggly baby yet. So I figured, you know, what perfect time, but just look at his little face. I don't know if we got any. Okay, so these came with growing together. How cute. Um, I will be downloading um, custom content here though. <laughs> just for the simple, what did I have him in? Okay, um, I will be downloading custom content hairs at some point, um, you know, just to have more of a variety. But yeah, overall, I think the compatibility and stuff looks really cool. I have not done any gameplay yet because I just like, I started filming and then like I took a little break because I got a phone call. So there will be more videos coming of like, I'm going to be updating the Leary household and I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of other stuff um, with this pack. I want to read, I want to decorate the little library. I want to make libraries in other worlds as well. Um, I'm going to actually be like discovering um, a lot of the Realm of Magic stuff because I literally haven't played that yet and I just bought that one as well. So I have like a lot of new stuff 
on my end to play with. I'm pretty sure you guys out there have already seen like Realm of Magic stuff. So I'm not going to show any of that stuff on my channel because the pack is really old. Same with Paranormal. I just never got it. But now that I have it, I will be exploring it more. I will be doing some more creative sims with infants. I will be downloading the infant CC. If you guys want me to do like a whole video on all the infant CC that I find and then list it for you guys in the description i can try my best um if i can remember everybody's name i probably have to like send it to myself in like a separate or, like put it like a notepad document of like all the links but um yeah um thank you guys so much for watching um these guys will be on the gallery <laughs> um if you don't have the pack the growing together pack then they might they, they most likely will be naked and bald when you get them because this is like specifically growing together so if they're not on the gallery if you open the gallery and you would like them um please let me know and i will try my best to remember to get them up be sure to subscribe um i have more content coming i have a lot of content film that i haven't finished editing yet so yeah if you guys are cool with that and cool to see like a bunch of random different things i've been filming like almost everything that i do in the game even the most random stuff this is a complete this is a safe space for being random and you know all over the place because that's what i am when i play the sims i'd be wanting to do different things every time i get on the game so yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video